Darling Divas, what can we learn from my favorite game? Let's dive in, shall we? Dressed. This challenge is named Time for Tea. Create a stylish daytime look for sipping hot tea. A stylist friend has just got back from a major work trip. Fashion tip. Denim is great base when creating an off-duty ensemble. Choose denim pieces. Fashion tip number one. This is the body type that I'm starting out with. She is a medium build. She's kind of tall. So let's start off with her face. She has dark hair. She has hazel brown eyes. So if you know anything about the color wheel or the color spectrum, you would want to go with the opposite color. Reason being, complementary colors complement each other and it makes things pop, seem more defined or stand out brighter. Also, have fun with it. Enjoy yourself. Whatever you have available, use that. Whatever makes you happy, do that. So getting back to this, I tried out different lash styles, colors, and types. They don't have as great a selection for me to choose from. So of the choices that I had, I chose the ones that best made her eyes stand out and gave it a little oomph and pop. Next, I chose the eyeliner as well as the lip color and lip texture. As you can see, they have different textures and shades. They have mattes, they have glosses, they have nudes, tints, and ombres. For the lip color, I wanted to go with a complimentary look for the color of her eyes but i also wanted to see if i could find a better match or better tone i like the nude lip you want to be able to notice the person from far back so that's where creativity and boldness comes in bright colors bold colors stands out more than a nude lip next i chose her eyebrows they say that eyebrows mix the face so if you can get a professional to shape your eyebrow and choose the right color and style for your face frame. Moving on to the face. Ultra Face Glow is my go-to when it comes to contour. Reason being, it goes with many different face textures, face shapes, whether you're older or younger. It looks nicely. It all depends on the look that you're going for, but this is my go-to when it comes to contour. To freckle or not to freckle. I'll leave this up to you because this is a personal choice. Some people are naturally born with them and some people just want them there as an accessory. Next, I chose the highlights. Highlights define the face a lot more. Some people like to highlight their inner corners of the eyelids, the cupid's bow. This is all a personal choice as well. Something I didn't mention in this illustration is blush. Choose wisely the blush colors. Certain blush colors make your face look much fuller. If you're not going for the fuller look, be cautionate with the color that you choose. Now we're going to style the hair. I like to choose her hair according to whatever outfit she's wearing. If she had fluffy sleeves or she have an open shirt, I don't want to wear hair that is long hiding those details. So I like to choose a shorter style hair. Also, according to the feel of whatever outfit she's wearing, is another way that I like to choose the hair. Choosing hairstyles according to the age of the person. Sometimes the person has a more masculine face, a more feminine face. Sometimes the person wanna look younger. Sometimes the person wanna look older. So those are different ways that you as well can choose the hair. These are a few styles that I tried before I chose the winning look. She has the type of body frame that looks nicely in a lot of different outfits. However, some of them made her look a lot more wider and less flattering. Now we're going to choose her shoe. Shoes matter because they pull the outfit together. Lastly, don't forget accessories. Accessories pull the outfit together and completes the look. A nice bag, sunshades, belts, all help to make the outfit and even more brighter and more unique about high low or mid higher brings the outfit into like an a line it hides imperfections more hips if you are lacking in the hip region also a higher belt higher up under the breastbone could also make you look elongated and much more taller Mid splits the body in half and gives an appearance of evenness on the top half and the bottom half of the body. And hip width gives the illusion of short and stout. 
be very careful if you're not trying to emphasize on your hips. But if you are, girl, go for yes. it. This is her final look. This is what I chose. Let me know in the comments if you like this look, if you enjoyed these tips that I gave you. What type of tips would you recommend? Did you learn anything? If you tried to contact me and I didn't respond, my email and my cell phone has been hacked. So try another way or try to contact me yourself. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. It